Hello friends, once again welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about 25 most used Excel formulas which I'm gonna help you in interview and if you're looking for a job in accounting. So we'll start with count. So the first formula is count. So how do you do it? Equals count. All the formula started with sign equals. So it's what do you need to count? Just select that and bracket close press enter so as you can see here there are yes there are 11 numbers 11 you can see in the right side serial number so there are 11 numbers if I select one more should be 12 but why it is 11 because the count doesn't count the text it only counts the numbers so the count formula only counts numbers not text now we talk about count a count a counts all count a means count all now the count a formula counts text or numbers both so you can, as you can see it's coming 12 the same result the same now the next formula is count if it is conditional if if you want to put any condition in any sheet so first thing is to select the range and you need to search select the criteria so what you want to count in the range what criteria so as I selected Mohan in this table so there are two places Mohan is there so it's giving you count of two next is if formula it is lo very logical formula it can be used in many ways so I'm gonna use it so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use it actually I type it wrong so let's go first I need to put the condition or the logical text so what should be the logic if this column is bigger than or equal to D3 which is the salary then it should come yes or otherwise it should come no that's a logic and press enter so it's coming yes because it is equals 25 so next is formula sum to add anything equals sum select the range or select the cells and press enter close the bracket sum if so you, you need to type sum if bracket start this is also conditional so first you need to select the sum range sum range and the criteria and what you exactly want to sum so sum if is conditional example if I change Mohan to Ravi or any other name the amount will change as you see so what I select in the sum if first give a criteria and select the range and press enter simple now we talk about VLOOKUP I have made many videos about VLOOKUP let's see it all over again equals VLOOKUP first you need to select what are you looking for so column A3 then from where you need to select the table array I selected the table and then press F4 to block the cells and then what I'm selecting is salary which is index number 4 and 0 for accurate match so press bracket close press enter so we look up you can see RAM salary is 25 H lookup equals it's somewhat same but instead of column index it is row index number you need to use it's a horizontal lookup we look up is vertical lookup that's a difference so same way we are doing it again now I'm gonna put 5 which is gonna be Roshan I believe yes it's Roshan so because it's coming 1 2 3 4 5 first is Ram second Sam Mohan Joshi and the Roshan is number 5 so this is the 5 row index number is which falls from the table the table which we select we can also put the formula sum ifs the multiple conditions in one table if you want a particular 
person particular seats in but in sum if first you need to select the sum range rather than sum if first you need to select the criteria range here you need to select the sum range then criteria range and next is criteria one so you need to put criteria so i want to search mohan in the criteria one which is names under names i want to search mohan now we need to give criteria two criteria two i give address and i will give criteria khalifa b okay so if in this sheet there is a mohan there is khalifa b how many are there just make the sum of them their salary actually so it's just two five because there is only one mohan in this seat which is staying in khalifa city b next is count if equals count ifs this is also multiple condition you can count first you need to select the range sorry you need to first select the criteria range not the sum range because it's count if that's the difference between sum if and count if and then you need to give the criteria what exactly you want to search in that criteria that is one condition number 2 you need to put again another criteria and what exactly you want to search in that khalifa b example i am searching is the same thing in this sheet in the under the name in mohan and under the address i want to search khalifa b if the mohan is staying khalifa b how many are they before we search their salary sum so there is only one person who is staying in khalifa b name mohan example there is khalifa city here if i change this abdul to mohan it will become 2 as you can see even the salary has changed in the sum if so all right so it's back again now the formula is average it's very simple just type average and bracket open select the range bracket close press enter just simple you will get the average of the numbers any number 2927.273 is the average salary of everyone min equals min which is the minimum salary and who is getting only minimum salary here so you can get it 2000 yes josie is getting 2000 only staying in musaffa next is maximum who is getting maximum salary so we can check here i believe 3800 which is manoj the last one is getting 3800 so these are the 13 formulas now let's move to next ones now we will talk about from 14 to 25 next formula is if error in case if there is error in the seed how you gonna hide it if error ram select the column a3 and bracket close and put the condition if error what should come yes example if there is error like this so it should come yes in that place instead of error so now as you can see it's changing next is if is blank this formula is also very useful if this column is blank then so do you should first bracket close i'm doing it wrong i said close the bracket first if is blank select the column bracket close comma open parenthesis now you should uh, put double quotes yes or comma double quotes no and bracket close press enter if the column number a3 is blank it should come no Uh, it should come yes if it is not blank it should come no so if i delete ram it will come s yes you see even the if error has changed from ram to zero so you see now next formula is counter blank 
if you want to count blank number in the sheet so you can use this formula equals count blank search or select the range bracket close you will get the number so there is only one number selected now if i delete from here it will change now the formula is date simply equals date it will ask for year month and the day today is 8 12 2020 and the bracket close press enter you will get the date see 8 12 2020 equals time it asks for hour minute and second so what is time now six so which is 18 hours because it's pm then 31 minutes and 24 22 seconds bracket close as you see 6 31 pm already the next formula is really important which is called concatenate concatenate formula is used to combine one or two letters together example if i want to combine ram with his address in one that's how we do it equals concatenate select first select two and let's see again yes Josie I want to select his salary okay in case comma close so Josie 2000 that's how the concatenate formula works next formula is text type equals text break start select any number and any text and bracket close now you see ram became r a 1 that's how the text formula works now we got a formula of upper upper case lower case proper case you can in case if you type did wrong typing or you want to change the typing so you can use this formula upper case so equals upper select the text and press enter lower works same way yes now as you can see it came in the lower letter now if you want to make it in a proper letter like the first word is capital rest all is small that's called proper so hurry select bracket close now you see h is capital here now it's median Median formula is used to get the median number of any selected range. So the median is 2900 0, 0, means it's somewhat like average. And what is the formula of now? If you want to put the right now date and time equals bracket open now bracket open bracket close press enter you get the time and date date and time that is it all about this video guys hope you really find it valuable and if you have any comments suggestion please share in the comments below and if you want me to make any video on any particular topic please do let me know my email address is also mentioned in the description you could send me an email or you could write in the comments god bless you all and take care and kindly subscribe to my channel don't forget that because it is important you're gonna learn new things here so see you next time take care and subscribe don't forget